In this video you will learn lots of things. I've got over 2000 hours worth of gameplay in this game and I've got 150 random tips in here which I'm going to start splurting out which can either save you money, save you time or do things which you didn't even know existed. So I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible. There's a lot to cover. I'm going to, not going to explain them all very too well. If you've got any questions please leave a comment and I will get back to you on it even if it's on a particular hint I will get back to you so here we go number one home key in open world slash battle use that well it gives you a free camera number two use small cannons and undercrewed ships they use less crew to man so you can still be effective in combat three don't sail to enemy ports unless you're on a trader otherwise you're not going to be able to get in Four, don't forget to collect your combat medals before logging off. That is a big one, which you will then lose them. Five, cap ships to use them uh, to see if you like them. I mean, why not? It's a free ship. Try before you buy. Six, capping ships is also great to earn money. Yes, it is. You can sell them and or uh, sell them to the private or to the admiralty. Seven, undercrew a ship. Plus, take on a bigger ship for max XP. Ship behind moist the bigger VR defends the more speed you will get. Eight. Doing HDFs gives you lots of experience, great for teamwork, and gives you some solid wood, rare wood. It drops and tools and other things like that. They're all elites though, so don't get captured. Number nine. Don't buy upgrades. They're expensive. Save the ones you've required. Slash use combat medals to buy some of the other really good upgrades. 10. Don't build a ship shipyard unless you've got the resources. You need lots of bits to build a shipyard uh, to build ships, so don't bother unless you can get them all. Let go 11. If you can, don't try build a season the right shed. Tea. It isn't worth it. 12. Don't buy rum. You can get lots from the AI ships like you've sank. Don't slow 13. Down have sales, outposts in free towns for the patrol zones. You need access very much so. 14. Get stuck into combat. Don't be scared of it. PvP. It's an online multiplayer game. Unfortunately, you lose ships. 15. Don't attack AI ships right in front of your capital port. It drags other players in, which can get them very annoyed if they don't want to be there. 16. Medium guns are fine for most things. Don't be scared of uh, using them. 17. Learn to board. Can't recommend that enough. It's a big part of the game. 18. Use charge for leak sinking. Penetration is the key to leak sinking a ship, in which case it instantly goes down. 19. Keep the wind where possible. In battle, keeping the wind is very important. 20. Server lag tagging. When you're tagging, be a little bit more forward than what you want to be, and you'll actually be where you want to be in the battle, because there's a bit of a lag. Uh, 21 wolf pack for hunting go out with wolf packs if you're hunting players it's much better 22 use clan resources these can be uh, clan built guns and hull repairs depending on the clan you can often uh, use that you'll know what your clan is like 23 work as a team a bit self-explanatory work as a team 24 import uh, in pbs sail your own ship while following instructions you're still a captain of your own ship if you need to, wiggle your ship to get a shot off or, you know, whatever. You're being hurt, get your friend to defend you. Stuff like that. 25. Talk in third person while in a group. Not everybody knows who I is. 26. Keep the bees books for the gunnery encyclopedia. Don't laugh at my, <laughs> my pronunciation. Le Horizon a Ballistique. Sur la Carnage aboard. Table of the parts of war and means of directing fire. Same thing now, keep these books for the sailing encyclopedia. Art of steering by rudder, art of cargo distribution. 28. Keep these books for the Book of Five Rings, which is a boarding book. Book of the Void, Water, Ground, Fire and Wind. 29. You will die in a couple of minutes if you leave the ring in the patrol zone. That is the outer ring, which if you can't see, press N, it should disappear and reappear again. 30. Don't run away for ages in the patrol zone. That is just a dick move and pisses everybody off. You're in the patrol zone. Prepare for combat. 31. If you sink an enemy plus the fleet escapes, you don't get another PvP kill if you tag him straight away. That player will have an X next to his name, which shows he's just been sank, so you will not get the extra reward. 
32 place contracts for reps uh, if you want them cheaper it might take a couple of days but you get them a lot cheaper especially in Red T can probably help high tower sell them wanted upgrades to get extra money I mean, why not 34 set up tobacco plantations if you want more money the selected ports which do this you can see it in the trader tool and you can get about 300k a day if you do it correctly 35 always keep one outpost slot for free for emergencies like you can't you can't go wrong with that 37 if you're thinking about dlc watch my dlc video first and hopefully that will save you some money 38 only try to unbox ships you're going to use the most 39 sail around for rare woods the drop in uh, ports all around the caribbean 40 always have combat ships while moving things that means a combat ship in your fleet while say trading 41 best combo for that is uh, a redoubtable as main a victory in the fleet and then two indian men but you need full maximum 1500 crew for that 42 your top deck cans uh, reflect how much the fire deck con gun commanding boarding does if you've got lots of carronades they will do more than if you've got lots of long guns 43 boarding preparation is a must always prepare that quickly and given lots of time 44 always grab the weekly events which are the ones which give you doubloons for sailing sailing around in a certain class of ship 45 work to work to get the navy These medals they're the assist. biggest thing in the game make sure you do all you can to get them even if it is just the minimum to get the uh, the five or ten for that specific period 46 H HDF ships will attack you if you wanted too close. Those are the ones at the home ports. They will hunt you down and they are fast as fuck. 47. Elite ships drop rare guns. If you want rare guns like blue fields, that's where you get them. 48. AI ships aren't great at going upwind. Use that to your advantage. 49. Use kill missions to cap AI ships easier it's a ship and it's going to be there very predictable 50 oh, build a shipyard out of your capital area and you will have an increased chance of getting nicer ships although i cannot confirm that but plenty of people have said it 51 sail uh, sail to seal the bottle locations with a trader ship as your main that can save you time 52 upgrades with the same symbol can't be both can't both be used on a ship unless it has the little U in the corner. Each upgrade has its different symbol, many are the same. Again, if it um, it can't be used twice on the same ship unless it has the U in the corner of it. Hammock upgrades give you more crew, not more crew health. 54. You can often find books you don't have in main ports for cheap because people sell them to the shop because they don't know the worth 55 put upgrades and doubloons in your chest asap that way they are safe 56 if friendly port taken over you have one maintenance day to easily get your things out otherwise you're going to be there trying to get in and out of an enemy port 57 use server time as a common time zone between players everyone knows their own relevance to it 58 clans often use uh, google to organize port Moist battles Main so target, that's google drive Marta. just be there watch out for people trying to squirt that information out to the enemy teams 59 don't steal loot that's just a dick move 60 you can have several dl ships if others are in the, in the ugh, are in the fleet put your dlc ship in a fleet say a victory be in the same port obviously and then you can redeem another one up to a maximum of four if you have the fleet perks on 61 you cannot teleport ships into enemy free for all ports keep that in mind if you're wandering around 62 change perk points for different occasions pretty self-explanatory and cheap to do have resource buddies e.g e if you get iron and your mate gets coal, then together you can produce cannons. 64. Always have PvP missions on. You're always going to be in PvP, so keep them on. 
65 always have hunt missions on this is personal preference i always have them on for whenever you're murdering ai 66 this is getting a bit long-winded now capping ships doesn't count towards your hunt missions slash search and destroy missions unfortunately that is the way it is 67 capping a ship in a kill mission is fine he's still done the kill mission 68 you can use home screen free camp to set ambushes. You can lift your camera up while your ship is on the other, other side of an island, for example. 69. Fleet ships slow you down if you're slower. So if your fleet ship is slow and you're fast in your main, you're still going to go as slow as the slower ship. 70. If you've got two ships with different sailing profiles with your main on your fleet, that will also slow you down. 71. Ships are automatically repaired once you leave a battle. 72. When tagging, consider the wider circle which emerges once you have tagged. You may drag other ships in. 73. Make sure you get a good tag that can dictate the battle. 74. Try tag when more people are in so they can participate. That is uh, very important if you want your friends to join you. 75. Use logbooks to find players easier. Logbooks show battles which are in the general area. You can find players that way. 76. Attacking basic ship gives you no PvP kill. Leave the noobs alone. 77. Help new players. Michael Not enough Cunningham people do this and soon. it's a great game. So make sure you help people that don't know things. Someone 78. Want to that. Keep an eye on the combat news. You will be able to see if there's any predators around. 79. Don't be a dick in Asian chat. Lots of people do this and everyone can see it. And then you get labelled as a dick. 80. You will lose ships. You will have to get over it. Unfortunately, you can't rescue a ship unless your buddy manages to capture it back. You're going to lose boats. It's just the way it's just the way it is. 81. If you're in battle, sail. If you're in battle sails, you take less mast damage. Keep that in mind. 82. Your turn rate is higher in com in, in battle sails. That is uh, statistics and is true. 83. In port battles, keep your cool. Things can get heated and there's plenty of aggro that goes on if you're not chilled out. 84. Shallow water 5th rate ships are different from deep water 5th rate ships. You can use 85. You can usually tell the difference between both of them by the cannon difference. 86. You can sail backwards. 87. Only depower if, uh, in attack if you need to. Otherwise, you just end up going backwards. 88. Wind goes anti-clockwise in open world. Remember that while sailing. If you understand that correctly, you will save time. 89. Use wind boosts where possible. They speed you up massively. 90. Battle wind will be determined from what it is in the open world at the start of the combat. Keep that in mind. 91. Wind in battle can go either way after around 15 to 20 minutes. It, you can even do a full 180. Keep that in mind. 92. Sell ships in capital areas slash crafting hub. There's a lot more traffic there, so your things are going to sell. 93. Broad pennants give you the best upgrades. Make sure you save them up. 94. Conquest flag costs you a hundred combat medals and last a few days they're not invin uh, they're not in uh, they're not invincible 95 conquest mission then yeah, pb right. set after when mission is finished so you have to go um, and do the bing. flag plan once the flag plan is finished then the pb is set for 24 hours after that point 96 flag plant timer extended if the enemy joins if you're in a flag plant and the enemy joins Dr you then have to wait the whole Dread, 45 minutes uh, if you need to pull behind otherwise it's 15 minutes. Out, protect your 97 left side screen your pb fleet teleportation doesn't happen anymore in the game make sure your port battle ship uh, port battle fleet gets screened 98 you bounce shots at extreme angles make sure you use this as best you can turn rate helps this Soldiers are the thickness. 99. Grape is only dangerous from close distances. If you don't want to be boarded, keep your distance and the grape can't really get to you. 100. 
you can fire individual decks. This is in the controls. You can tweak it. 101. Repair Up early there. in a big sure. conflict. You know, you don't want to waste 10 minutes. Make sure you repair early. 102. If you're getting priored, say something. If you are suddenly getting smashed by the enemy, commander of your fleet won't necessarily see it. 103. Get in voice comms. That is the best way to communicate in the game. Make sure you do it. 104. Use Discord. Team speak is shite. Lots of people are going to be pissed off with me saying that, but it is, Discord is so much better. 105. Organise with people. People will follow. If you want to go on a patrol zone for a day, squirt it out all over Discord. People will join you. 106. Depower when needed. For example, in a tight turn and you're at risk of being leak sunk. 107. When leaked, lift your leaks out of the water if you get hit on the left side. Tilt your ship using the wind and that may save you. 108. Keep some doubloons in your chest for teleporting. Everybody makes this mistake every now and again where you get there and oh no, I've run out of doubloons. Can I have some doubloons please? 109. Control H and that hides the user interface. 110. Press J for the bell. It's funny when you're all doing it. 111. Turning one side of your cannons off does not reload the other side quicker. That is a common myth. I don't know where that came from. 112. Flashing reload of one side makes the other side reload first. If you don't have enough crew to reload both sides, press stop reload on one side really quickly and turn it back on again and then the other side will reload first. 113. Stop uh, turn, fishing back on if you hold gets full. I murder for that one, I always forget. Let me just double check where the video is. Where was I? Yes, 114. Turn off carols if using main guns. It's easier to shoot if you have long guns and the main carronades are turned off. You'll see. 115. Be aware of wind shadow. If you are an older player who hasn't experienced this yet, you'll soon find out. 116. Basic brig is available in any port. Be mindful. 117. You can often get a Trincomalee, a deep water fifth rate ship, from war server players. They can dish them out for fun, for free, and made out of, made out of any seasoned wood. Use them uh, to get them for free. We always give them out. 118. Let your cannons settle before firing. Uh, they'll condense and fire a lot more accurately. 119. Watch your turning if firing. If you're doing a hard turn and you press fire, your cannons will go whoop, whoop, where you don't want them to go. 120. Server maintenance happens every day at the same time, roughly for half Question, an hour. Was, was 121. Was Marines are great at boarding. Make sure you use them if you plan on boarding. 122. Don't attack an enemy fire deck guns in boarding. You won't be alive for very long. 123. Attack the stern or the bow as often as you can. It is can lovely. 124. Wind. Try take down one side of the enemy ship and you'll only have to sink half the ship. 125. Oh, spread out your damage. If you've got many, a strong yeah. side and a weak side, turn to your strong side. 126. Entering port battles is done outside of the large circle, not the inside. 127. Enemy uh, forts will hit this? enemy ships trying to get to you. You can use that to your advantage. However, 128. Friendly forts will hit I've got you a request. trying to uh, attack the enemy. Sim Bear and that in mind. Lego. Or, oh no, this 129. Might work. Uh, Lego and Raik. Gun? Can you sail next to each there other it is. side by side? Mortar minute. Brigs are shit. However, they are hilarious and it gives the enemy a warning of oh, watch on. out, there's mortar fire. Try it out sometime. 130. Forts will often demast you. They are an absolute arse for that. 131. Forts will not attack AI. Oh, right, Keep that in mind. 132. Oh, okay. Don't get beached. Alright, I'll try it later. Self-explanatory. 
133. You can still sink if you are beached, believe it or not. It still happens. Right. 134, you can ram the enemy to take off their bow. However, well, that depends on the for, ship. Like a screenshot thing. Maybe a thumbnail. Uh, it's set in stone which ship will take off what ship's mast. Make sure you, won't you get that uh, back know what DLC. you're doing with that first. You just have to experiment. 135, ships have different sailing profiles. Use it. 136, if a group, in a group, try have the same profile so you can stick together easier. 137, you can move everything in your hold by pressing control and clicking on it, uh, on the things in the hold and then moving them all over as one. 138, fire ships can be spotted as they have less crew than they should. 139, Press brace, which is F10, to save your crew if you're about to be exploded upon. 140, bring a few sets of repairs depending on the circumstances. Usually it's going to be three, port battles maybe five. 141, a, a clan a sticks together uh, sticks together into the new season, so you don't need to make a new clan every season. 142, Make DLC ships out of Live Oak and White Oak to get the most money if you're selling them to the store. 143. Smaller guns, out DPS, big ones, but have lower crew damage. 144. Use perks to get more crew after boarding. Very helpful. 145. You find yeah, okay. your playstyle. Once you've found it, found what you like, use it, and you will be very effective. 146. Try to stick with your friends. This is a team game. Friends are good. 147. Support the clan if they support uh, you. If the clan Sim gives you lots of nice things, left. make Hopefully sure you give something will... back of what they need. Don't no, be a dick. 148. Get involved. If you're not involved, what are you doing? 149, click on a wind yeah, boost gonna do a hard to activate left so you it, can shoot. and then click Death. boost, Sim. you don't sail through it. 150, if you take a fleet ship yeah, okay. into the PvP zone, it doesn't enter combat, meaning if you get your main ship gets sunk in the PvP zone and you have a main, uh, sorry, a fleet ship, you then appear in your uh, fleet be, ship, cool which then turns into your main, saving you a lot of time. I hope this has been useful. I really do. It took me quite a while to get all of these tips together. Uh, I hope the viewing has been nice, and I hope that the cannon fire and the other occasional voice mishap has not ruined it for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've stuck around this long, I will keep leave you with the pleasure of watching the rest of the port battle, as I'm not going to take that away from you if you've actually been enjoying watching it. If you have any comments on any of the things that I have said in this, then please do leave a comment and I will get back to you unless there's millions, which so far there haven't been. It's not a massive channel. I will happily help support you. If you've got any questions about any of them, just leave a comment, honestly. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of this battle. Cheers, and I hope to see you floating around. And if you hadn't noticed, I've now joined the Pirate Nation, which I originally started with on the game.
I doubt it. done. I got a couple, but that was it. 